Hey, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another DIY video that I have not recorded any of, so it wouldn't be another. Anyway, this one is for the 728KNA valve, transfer valve. Um, <clears throat> there is, so when you look up the, um, the, the, the valve itself, the, the, the transfer valve, um, not, it, you know, this is one of the required parts for it. However, there are two listed. There's a 728K and I believe it's like a 737K or 736 or 8K. I can't remember. There's only two. And, um, it doesn't specify the difference. In fact, it, I wish it did, but it, say it right in the title, but it doesn't. Um, and I asked the lady at the parts store and she had to go look it up. Um, it turns out the difference is that when you have this at one, it'll do the shower head. If you have it at two, it'll do the shower handle. But if you go in between, it'll do both. Okay. It'll, it'll have both on at, at half pressure as opposed to the 737, 738, whatever the other option is, um, will actually turn it off. It will not be able to do both at the same time. So th the reason for this video is because there are these instructions. I only have two. I have the hand shower and I have the, the main head. Um, so I have to convert this to a two-way installation. And there are no videos online on how to do this except following the instructions. And being that I am not a plumber, I am a YouTube DIYer, um, I figure we could figure this out together. Um, and so I might do this wrong. So, but you know, I'm hoping we can, uh, we can get this figured out. Um, so here we go. I already took off the plastic piece here, um, which is somewhere else at the moment. Um, I'm sure it's in one of these boxes here. Uh, so other valves to work on too. So, <clears throat> so um, I lined it up. I've already got two of the lines pexed in, um, just but I kept it loose so that I could get into this spot because that is the third valve. Um, now these come with three quarter on the bottom, but I was able to get this converter that converts it from uh, the three quarter inlet to a one half pex A output. Um, a buddy of mine who's my my plumber um, who did all my drains, um, is, he is looking over my shoulder and checking my work. So. Um, He's not here now, but, um, so don't, if it's not perfect and you guys are professional plumbers and stuff, I, I don't want to hear it in the comments. I'm doing my best and I'm learning as I go. So, um, I know it's not the best plumbing job, but you know what? It's my first time. So <laughs> just shove it. <laughs> All right. So anyway, the first step says, uh, to, um, yeah, remove the guard, rotate the detent or detent or however that word is spelled pronounce I don't into until positioned vertically okay so that plastic white piece is the detent or however it's said all right so it, rotate it until it's vertical Boop. oh clicked. okay good all right next it says as illustrated verify the missing tooth is oriented up it's like a farmer's only commercial all right let's see if you look Okay, so it looks like the missing tooth, there is a missing tooth there. Okay, it is oriented up. I'm going to check underneath too. And if you look underneath here, there is no missing tooth. So that must be correct. All right. All right. Um, all right. Important. If the internal plug is not removed, the finished wall will need to be removed to reform this stuff at a later date. Oh, we don't want to do that. Right. Using a half or a quarter inch hex wrench, remove and discard the internal plug. That plug is right there inside the body. So I have somewhere. Where did my hex wrench go? Oh my goodness. I swear half of plumbing is just looking for tools. Ah, here we go. Quarter inch. Right there, and we are going to. Sorry, I can't. I only have one hand here. I'm going to reach in with the quarter inch. Oh, got it. I think. Ah, there we go. And turn, turn, turn. Hoping this helps you guys because I know how frustrating. Oh, look at that. First try. Got it out. Oh, it's a little gloopy. 
Okay, well, we're going to remove the gloopy. Put that down here. It says to just discard it. So apparently, we're not going to need it. And then this is in a half inch NPT um, plug. You can get it at your local plumbing supply store. Um, so just as a side note on plumbing supply stores. So I have one locally here that's, um, <clears throat> I think it's called like wind supply or something. And, uh, my buddy who's been doing plumbing for a long, long time, um, buys everything from there. And I asked him, what's the difference between getting like the PEX valves and these, these pieces, um, from Lowe's and Home Depot versus getting it from the supply store because the supply store is like double, sometimes triple the price. And, um, and that includes like these, these drop ears for the shower and handhelds and everything. Um, they were expensive. I mean, they were, I think each one of those drop ears was like 15 bucks or something like that. I mean, at Lowe's they're like three or five. Um, and he says there is a significant difference, um, in the quality of the part. Um, he says a lot of these manufacturers will make a Lowe's version and they'll make a supply store version. Um, and so he said, do not cheap out on these because if they leak later on, it's going to cost you a lot more to fix it, uh, than it will if you just spend a little bit extra money now and get the good stuff. So I trust everything he says. Um, I've known him for a long time and he's a no BS kind of guy. So, um, I, I, I'm hoping that, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're talking 10 bucks here. So, um, anyway, this NPT plug goes in here and I will, I will seal that in. I'm just going to put that in here. So I'm, I'm what he suggests I do for each of these. And I'm, I'm guessing this is correct, but I'm sure he'll tell me if it's wrong. Um, is I am wrapping five to six times in Teflon tape and then using what's called pipe dope. Um, which I'm sure many people have heard of, but this is what the plumbing supply stuff gave me, the thread sealant. Um, and I'm just putting them in as, as tightly as I can uh, with a pipe wrench um, and, and seeing how it goes. Okay, so now this is the part I got a little confused on. Um, let's see. Plug unused port, left, right with NPT. Got it. Using pliers, remove the spacer from beneath the detent. So the spacer is that little C-shaped guy. Let's see. That is, where am I here? That is right there on the inside. All right, so pliers. I got my handy dandy pliers. And we're going to remove that. Nope. Nope. There we go. All right, we got the spacer out. Let's put that somewhere while uh, we'll remember where it is. Okay, using pliers, remove the spacer, push the detent in and ensure the points of the detent engage the notches of the valve cartridge. I haven't the slightest clue what that means. I'm sure a lot of people are laughing at me right now, but let's see. Oh, okay, so there's some gears inside there, it looks like. So I'm going to push this. Oh, ooh, that went right in. Okay, so that's in. All right. Um, okay, it doesn't go in any further. So and now install the spacer above the detent and under the E-ring. So it looks like the E-ring is this guy right here. So I'm going to take this spacer and put it right here. And it looks like it fits in perfectly. This now turns again. I can feel it clicking, but I, I actually can't turn it any further this way. So I wonder if that's one, two, and I can't go any further. So I think I'm done before it spun all the way around. So now I can't. Okay. Um, install half inch copper tubing or piping for both accessories. Securely fasten the piping and outlet else to the framing. Oh, okay. I think that's it. I think I'm done. Um, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. I, it really made me nervous, but I, I got it. It's done. So I think we are good. Um, I hope this video helps you um, convert this three-way to a two-way. Um, and that should be it. Um, awesome. Everyone have a great day. Um, yeah. Take care.